Hello, this is Q, and my thought is to wish you an optimistic New Year's 2024. I have a little trail of thought to follow here. Uh, it's got a few stops along the way, so bear with me. But my di idea is to talk a little bit about humor, comedy, and the possibilities it has for bringing people together. Now I've drawn a lot of inspiration on this over the weeks, and uh, of course, the fact that I wanna do this in English and talk about optimism, of course, thanks to Mr. Victor Purton and his crew of optimists in Australia, but also a lot of friends who have given me ideas for this. So. Okay, let me start with this. Uh, one of my favorite comedy movies of all time is Airplane. I'm sure many of you know about it. It's from the trio ZAZ, Zucker Abram Zucker. Uh, if I recall right, it's two brothers and their childhood friend. Now, one nuance I'm gonna stop there is that these are all three people from Jewish backgrounds and they have jokes about Jewish customs there and uh, Jewish things in the movie and they make us laugh. Of course, that being the whole point about it. Now, uh, here in Finland, uh, we do not have a lot of Jewish people. Now there's a very simple uh, explanation to that. We are so far out of most of the world that uh, there just hasn't been a lot of immigration here except until the past few decades. So we just haven't had a lot of people from far away moving in here, be they Jewish or many other groups. So it was a little remote, but these jokes there, they made us laugh and they gave us just a little bit of a hint about what it is about them and their traditions and got us maybe a little bit interested in what they have. And I was thinking this thing forward. Now I'm thinking about uh, modern comedy shows, for example, uh, and I noticed that those, many of those also have jokes about Jewish people and their customs, and uh, the thing is that they've also been written by Jewish people, so they clearly want to connect with these jokes, and I mean, of course, it's valid to ask, could that be offensive? But I'd like to think that if a person speaks about themselves, their own background, their own culture, they have a lot of leeway and uh, laughter really is a good way to connect. Now, let's move this to another point here. I'm thinking about uh, comedians like Hassan Minhaj. Now, uh, he is a Muslim from Indian background, and oh, has he been making a lot of humor about that. And we've been laughing at Indian politics and Muslim traditions and thoughts and all those, and he's made us laugh. He's familiar with them. They're part of him. He wants to share that through laughter. And of course, again, it has connected people throughout the world. Now, let me put all of this on a shelf for just a little while because I have one more little part of this story to play. Now, uh, go back a couple of decades, and it was a given pretty much that if you have a global music hit in the Western world, it tended to come from USA or UK with a little bit of hits maybe in Canada, Germany, Sweden, something like that. And look at it these days, Korea is everywhere. Now, this is not just random occurrence, but the people there in the government thought that, okay, we want to make this a global phenomenon. And they started working hard for a long time that we are going to bring Korean music into the households everywhere around the Western world. And of course, just more than just the Western world, but all over. And uh, they worked hard and they did it, and now they're there. So it's obviously possible. Uh, I know Sweden did a lot of this music export business, and countries around the world have thought about, oh, this is gonna be our thing. We are gonna bring this out to the world. We're gonna make this everyone in the world to know that it's our thing, and we're gonna share it. It might be cultural something. It could be music, movies, anything, or it could be a food or a trend. I mean, there are sushi places everywhere. Hmm. And of course, it's easy to draw the lines putting these together. Now, it's an unfortunate fact that many people in the West do not connect well with Muslim cultures and Muslim people. Now, how do we fix that? Because if we don't connect, if we don't talk, if we don't understand, that's not a way forward. But again, put this the other way, if you connect, if you understand, if you feel together, that connects people. It's, it just calms the world down. It's a clear way to optimism, so why not laugh our way into people's hearts? Now, what if one country with a lot of Muslim people there, maybe a majority, would think that, okay, in the next 10 years, we are going to make a hit comedy movie that every American is gonna be laughing about. They could clearly do it, and it would be easy to do it, and I mean, knowing that 
I, I actually checked this on Wikipedia. Uh, Islam does not have anything against humor or laughter. Of course, there are cultural differences and ways how you approach it, but it's not a problem. It takes a decision that, okay, we are going to use laughter and we're going to connect with the people through laughter. We're going to make them laugh. And uh, we are going to tell our own jokes. We're going to take ownership of that, so to speak. We don't need to worry about someone else who doesn't understand making bad jokes about it. That might, might actually offend some people, of course, but we'll do it ourselves. We'll show them what makes us laugh and we'll share that laughter with the world. You know, there are a lot of things that you need to do to get an optimistic worldview. There are a lot of things you can do, everyone can do. And I, I, I feel like the kind of optimism I love is challenging optimism, challenging us like, say, uh, climate change. It's a huge challenge, but it also shows the possibility what humankind could do if we really, really work hard. Now, this is in a smaller scale, so... What if some country thought, we are really going to build bridges of understanding and we're going to do it through laughter? They certainly can. And my oh my, what an optimistic scene that plays right now in my mind. Laughing happily with friends and family about a culture that, well, I didn't really understand that well before the movie. And of course, it's just a comedy movie. It's not a documentary, but it lights something up there. Oh, oh, this is curious. What is this joke about? Why am I laughing? What's the context? I'm going to go read a little bit more about it. And just like that, something seeps into your mind. You start thinking, oh, hey, this is curious. And when you understand people, it's a lot easier to like them and a lot harder to hate them. And uh, so that's my New Year's thought. It's a challenge. Oh, it's a big challenge. But Humankind loves challenges. So here's just one more to the poll. Anyone feel like picking it up? Please try and have a very optimistic New Year's 2024 here from Tampere, Finland. Thank you. Bye-bye.